Hello everybody and welcome to the Default TK tutorial. Today I will be teaching you the advanced Canvas tutorial in HTML5. Um, in the last episode of the Canvas tutorial, uh, we I taught you how to make the basic canvas with it, fill it half with red and half with the normal colour of the background. So today we shall be doing a gradient and if I've got time, probably a triangle. So I think um, okay the gradient. We shall we start off. So, uh, what we do? If you still have the code from last time, what shall we shall keep the two variables in there, and we are going to add a third variable, the gradient variable. So, it's var space grade cxt dot create line linear even sorry gradient. If I can spell. <laughs> and you want to do you want to open up the brackets and type zero slash zero slash one seven five slash fifty. And then obviously close the brackets and whack a semicolon down there. So what you want to do, you wanna make another line because that's the end of the variables for now. So what we should do next is open up the GRD dot add colour stop and then add the zero. And then here is where you will add your color. So for now, I'm going to go back to red. So it will be FF and four zeros. And obviously, close that. And close the brackets. And do that. And obviously, this is a gradient. So what we shall do is we'll do it again. And color, if I can spell properly. Sorry, guys. Oh, wrong br um, bracket. Open up. I forgot the D. So there. And what shall we do this time? So we do one. So this is the first, well, second color, but it obviously it starts with zero. We'll open the parentheses. And we'll do, I think we'll do a green. So if I remember correctly, the green is that, I do believe. So obviously we'll close that again. And then what we shall do is we'll start typing the CXD dot film style equals GRD. So pretty much what that's doing is just filling the canvas with this up here. Oh, with these two up here, okay? So we shall write the second line of the CXT. So CXT dot fill with that so slash zero slash uh, 175 slash, oh, my mistake, slash 50. Okay, so obviously put the same numbers as you put up here. And we'll close this. And then, as you can see, if we use the same script, we don't have to close the JavaScript. So if I was to save this right now and load up the gradient ish, there we go. As you can see, it changes the gradient up here. Okay, so. If you would like to mess around with this, um, you can. What I found in the past is if you change these two to 200, oops, I was meant to put a tab in there, to let's just say 100, and obviously change these two as well, otherwise it wouldn't uh, work properly. So 200 and 100. So change that to 100. So if I save this right now, and then do that. Once it's finished refreshing, my computer's lagging. There we go. It's half filled with a gradient, and it's a pretty nice effect. If you would like to, you know, make a semi background, so you have like a black background, and then a gradient on top. So it seems good. So let's move on to the shape. So what shall we do? We're doing a triangle. So what we want to do is, you want to get rid of all of this text from the second from the third variable we added so we're pretty much going back to the beginning okay so let's just enter that down and what we want to put in is cxt dot move to make sure you, you put the capital letters in otherwise it won't work properly um, what should we do we'll, uh, do 10 10 10 10 10 10 <laughs> so we'll just close that and then obviously cxt again Sixty dot line two, and then open up the hundred and fifty. We we'll do the same numbers: hundred and fifty, fifty, 
Okay, so this is just adding the lines onto the screen once we save and refresh. So do another line two, and then 150 by 150, oh, 50 by 50, and then that one, that one, and then obviously we have to add the stroke in so it actually comes up on the screen. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. What we doing? Cxt dot stroke. Sorry guys, I lost my train of thought then. Uh, let's just take that down. So work. Make sure you, you have to add the uh, capital letters in the second word of every like um, function. Okay, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but it would do for now. You should, guys should understand. It. So let's just get rid of this. So let's just make a change to that. Otherwise, it would be pretty stupid. So let's make that ten. Okay. So we just save that, and if I refresh now, we should have like a line. Okay. So. Hopefully that wasn't too boring for you guys. Um, I've, of course, I'm using Notepad Plus Plus, and this was the advanced uh, canvas tutorial. Sorry, I lost my train of thought again. Then um, there is other things you can do. You can add like images and stuff. Um, actually, I might show you how to do that now. Um, I don't have an image, so I could show you quickly. So obviously. Back to okay. This is how you make it. Put an image into a canvas. It's not really that hard, but uh, you have to add a third variable in. So var, and then space image equals new, and then space image. Don't forget the capital letter in image, and then obviously open and close, and then that. that's the variable done. So this is be the image source. So um, let's. Uh, find an image. So let's just put um, blank image dot gif. Okay, and then open that, and then close up, and then you can see this is as I said, it's pretty easy. Cxt dot draw image, and then obviously add the function in img, then zero zero, and then close up. But obviously nothing will show up because I don't have the image in here. Okay. Um but do do let's just save that just to see what it comes up with since as you can see there's nothing in there for now. Okay. But I will uh, whack an image in there. I'm just gonna pause this quickly and I shall be back with you. Okay, sorry about that guys. Um right now I do have an image in there. Um it'll be this very lovely smiley face when it opens up if it opens up <laughs> but obviously I'll save that and then if my computer stops lagging I will go to over to here and it should in theory be in there or not <laughs> as it seems ah why is everything opening up it's annoying me now there we go. As you can see, it's in there. So, thank you guys for checking out my advanced tutorial. Um, I hope to see you guys soon, and I will be uploading more regularly from now on onto this channel. So, make sure you click subscribe, and make, if you want to, um, click the thumbs up.